Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Kingdom Come Deliverance and we are needing to go back to Peshek. He wants us to rob a grave. No biggie. Um, let's see. I think we can actually... Oh, maybe. Um, this is the fast travel. There we go. Yeah, we can just do this. Uh, we need some nourishment. Okay, so... Um, did I not pick up any food? That's... Definitely not what I wanted. That's my bad. Okay, drop an apple in. Wait, how do we do this? Select. I don't remember how this works. So I dropped an apple in. And then at some point, is it an actual stew or do we have to wait? Let's maybe, like, wait an hour, see what happens. Can't remember how this works. Higher comfort beds also um, bring your energy up faster when you're sleeping, by the way. This one is not the most comfortable of beds, as you can imagine. I feel quite hungry. Okay, that doesn't work how I thought it did. I thought that you put some food in there and then it became a stew that you could actually eat again. But maybe you can only eat it a um, certain number of times per day or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I'll have to try and figure that out. God, the eating sounds are awful. I really do hate it. Honestly, that salami might work for the quest that we're about to do. So I'm going to take that. Boom. 100 nourishment. Nailed it. All right, Peshek. Let's talk. There was no ring there. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right. All right. See what I can do. Go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? I do. Get past a lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean <laughs> the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity. He's a professional. Like a young maiden's cherry. <laughs> I have some experience. <laughs> All right. I'm 
glad to hear you. <laughs> I love Miller. Popular. He's a lot picked for the job. All right. Um, let's see. Tell me something about the other Millers. Can you tell me something about the other Millers. There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Okay. Good luck to you. All right. So he didn't actually give me the clue that I thought he might give me, but I think I remember being able to drop meat and the dogs would get distracted. So that's what I'm going to have to bank on. Otherwise, maybe there's something I can, like maybe if it's night, they all go to sleep or something. But I don't know if my sneak is good enough for that shit. It is getting close to night, though. OK, what is this exclamation? An activity giver. Okay. We could grab that. See what that's about. It's not you. Nope. Is it somebody in here? What are you staring at? The bars are for paying guests, not idlers with nothing better to do. God be with you. You fight for coin? Are you the brawler who takes bets? Oh. What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. You, th you think so, buddy? Do me a favor. Punch me! Exclamation mark. What are the rules? Are rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his ass or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. All right, we found the fight club. God be with you. What's that? Look out. Don't mind me. Who is... hey, it's all good. I just walked in there for a second. Hey! All right. Now, if the sausages don't work and we can't do anything at night, if they don't like go to sleep or something, I may have to just come back to this when we have a better option. We'll see. Oh, something else that I wanted to check as well. Um, let's see. They're like a gamma setting somewhere. Object, LOD, motion blur. Is there really no gamma? Interesting. Huh. There's no gamma. So apparently they have a console.
keep accidentally pushing tilled instead of um, escape. Bro, get up there. It's not that hard. Okay, so something else that is actually important about sneaking at night is that you don't actually want your armor on. It makes you way noisier. So if we look at this... A lot of the plate stuff, you definitely don't want on. I don't necessarily know how to read those, if I'm being honest. So, visibility and conspicuousness. I'm guessing low numbers are better? So, like, our, our noise is down to 10 right now, right? Jeez. Gotta move fast. Oh, it's open. Can't tell if that's him laying there or not. Can't see shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing. Boy, do I know it. Don't get caught. Dead man's ring. Save your schnapps. This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Bro, keep your mouth shut. What is wrong with you? Okay. Okay. Kind of wanted to push my luck, see if I could, like, rob more of his shit, but... <laughs> yeah, we made it. Okay. Now... All right. Something else that can happen in this game is that uh, if you're walking around a town um, at night and you're not holding a um, torch, um, if I remember correctly, that's actually illegal in Rate. Um, I can't remember if other towns are the same as well. And uh, you can get in trouble for it because they think that you're up to no good, which a lot of the time you are. You are up to no good. So. Okay, we got the ring, though. Sir Miller. Got the ring. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. 
I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Man, you millers are wild, huh? That could be useful. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Okay. Take care. All right, so now we are able to actually trade with him for that stuff. Let's get our gear back on. And now at this point... We can take some of this stuff out that we might want to sell. Do I want to sell this right now? Honestly, it won't be too long before we're able to actually use this bow, probably. Four and three. Yeah, we're like not that far off, honestly. So I'm not going to sell that right now. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm going to sell Bianca's ring, though. <laughs> is that awful? <laughs> is, is, that, is that wrong of me? It might be wrong of me. Okay, we'll keep the spade here while when we're not using it. We can keep those for now. We'll keep three on us for the time being. And then we'll see about selling some of this stuff. I've got some goods here. All right. Okay. Sell the bludgeon. Bianca's ring. Some of this light padded armor. All right, Trader's Wealth, he's got a thousand Groshen. You are doing well for yourself, my man. We're gonna make a whole 16 Groshen off of this. God, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be fucking rich. All right, let's see if we can haggle. Let's talk about the price. I'm not gonna push it too Bye. far. Okay. All right, so let's see about 19. Since it's you, a nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. So usually on the second one, they make a counter offer and you can either meet it or you can push it a little bit more. Um, you can lose reputation with them, which I'm not gonna push at the beginning of the game for sure. So we're gonna make that off. We're gonna take oh, that offer. Decent price. That's okay with me. If you do give him something ridiculous to start with, you can still lose, lose reputation, if I remember correctly. So keep that in mind as well. Um, how are we doing on energy? 84. Not bad, actually. Um, honestly, though, I should probably just rest a little bit until it gets a little bit brighter before we go into town to Rate. I gotta remind myself how those pots work so that I know how to use them better because I really don't remember. I can't remember if it's just like you can do it every like 24 hours or something or what, but. Yeah, let's just wait until morn. We don't need it for the energy, but. But that's fine.
All right, it's early morning. Hi, girl. How you doing? You need a bath. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not being judgmental or anything. I'm sorry. That was rude. That was that was really rude of me, honestly. I'm ashamed of my words and deeds. Okay, I'm going to head up to Ratai. Right up there. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And I'm feeling... Henry. It's all Henry today, baby. Let's go. Man, what a beautiful locale, though. They really did realize this world really well. And it really does try to be accurate to the time. Obviously, I wouldn't know how close they got to it, but, like, from what I understand, they did a really nice job, so... Okay, we've already been using fast travel. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Okay, so I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith. I mean, it's kind of a lie, but come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Damn. Bugger off. That was probably the best chance we had. Well, I mean, it really depends. Well, yeah, yeah. I have to tell Sir Radzig what happened to his sword. It's the only one we have a question mark on, and we're really bad at it. But I'll try anyway. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. All right. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Okay, I'm going to venture into town first. You discovered camp. What can I do at camp? Can I actually sleep here? I think I can. Yep, we gluttoned. Well hidden, and it won't be we glutted up. Off. And how are we supposed to live in the meantime? On Baron? Hal! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. Oh, these are the Scalots refugees. How did you get out of Scalots? Gotcha. You wouldn't believe it. I forgot this was their camp. The storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. Okay, is there anybody else that we want to talk to? I mean, these are our people. Eh. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, Alright, it is early. Sleep. Antonia. Who else we got over here? Kunesh. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? <laughs> huh? She won't even get up. No. Clear off. Let me sleep. Alright, we'll we'll talk to you again later, I guess. Tonda. Man Kunesh, why did you have to be one of the ones that survive? Frickin' prick. <laughs> Dude's a jerk.
Okay, so we got a weaponsmith. They're not open yet. Okay. Grocer, this is our armor. Let's get everything marked on the map. Just going close enough to him gets everything marked up. What is this one? This one's the tailor? That one's the tailor. Okay. The scribe, I think, is over here. Alchemy bench. Don't know where that is. Somewhere around here. Oh, here's the alchemy. Apothecary. Cool. We'll eventually look at apothecary stuff. Where's the nest? Is that marked on the map? Yeah, right there. The nests, if I remember correctly, are kind of just like, uh... Collectible, sorta? A loot thing? Can we reach that one? I think usually you have to shoot him down with a bow. Which I currently don't have a bow I can use. Yeah, I don't think it gets marked on the map and we can't add our own markers, I don't think. I mean, we can do that, but it's only one at a time, so. Okay, Butcher. Grocer. More traders. A bar, tavern. Okay, Huntsman, you... No, we're not open yet either. Okay. I was gonna see how much a bow might cost me. One that I might actually be able to use. We just need to get our strength and agility up a little bit, and we'll be able to use the one that we already have. But I also need arrows. Blacksmith. Archery range. Grindstone. Alright, we should probably just do main story stuff, because I think that's going to unlock more for us. So. We've marked a whole bunch of stuff on our map, so we'll be able to find things in town a little bit easier if we need to. Um, and uh, let's just go and see if we can find uh, Lord Radzig. Tell him what happened to his sword. Another nest? Where? Right there? Wait, can I not use this sword? Minimum agility is three. Oh, I don't have a weapon I can use right now. Oh shit, I didn't even realize. That's not good. Okay, we're one away from that. And I'm assuming that running itself just gets us agility. So hopefully we'll get there. Let's just hope we get there before we really need to use the damn thing. Run everywhere.
Is there a way to see how far along you are? I think there is. Yeah, there are bars here. So agility is actually getting close. And if I do this, agility is a measure of speed, move, movement, and nimbleness. And agile character not only moves faster, you get agility perk points at every fourth level up. Okay. Current XP progress is 94. All right, so we're going to get there. We're going to get there before we have to leave this town. Almost certainly. Okay, 94. We'll check it once I get to the little castle grounds over here that we're heading towards. Maybe that'll give us a good idea of kind of like how fast it'll go. All right, have the stores opened? I think they have. Okay. Good day to you. About repairs. Okay. These are at 49. 8 Groshen. And I have 58 Groshen. Oh, you can't repair it. So when it goes into that area, you have to find somebody who's better? That's rough. Okay, 3.7 to repair that. 8.7. Close the deal. Oh, I should have haggled. You have to hold to haggle. My bad. Okay. Let's talk trade. Blacksmith's kit. Ooh, that's expensive. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can do that. Good to know, though. All right. Okay, so 94. And what is it at now? Still 94. Okay, maybe running doesn't give you agility? I don't know what gives you agility. You're better evading strikes, skillfully wield more sophisticated weapons, sabers, archery. So archery might increase. Archery in turn will increase agility. Okay, so we know archery is at least one place we can do it. Okay. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Me too. I was attacked by bandits. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal, so you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Well, I'm uh, hopefully going to go and see Sir uh, Radzig. I must speak with Sir Radzig. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. God. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about this stairway. Now. The love of God. This fucking stairway. You know what my old man is like. 
nothing ever good enough for him. Always turning his nose at everything. God, this damn stairway is a nightmare. I forgot about this. You guys have to move. Hickey is he? That's putting it mildly. Uh, maybe he's down here. I don't know. Maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. I don't care about realism or horse studios <laughs> when the hallway isn't big enough for two people. <laughs> I think I do have to go upstairs. I think that's where they're at. I wasn't going in there. there? Nobody. Are they still talking? Oh my God. I heard it from a traveling merchant. He had it in Prague, and he said it was delicious. Okay, I, I was able to squeeze past this time. Oh, look. Toilet. Look, it just goes out and splats on the ground. That's nasty. That's nasty. It's nasty. They in here? No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. That was eloquent. I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well. There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. <laughs> Women, for apparently. Land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. true, he did. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserve a Christian <laughs> burial. Did you manage that at least? Damn, dude. Chill out. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? 
Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, he's not it's wrong. A great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, Friar. How about you go and consecrate it, you piece of shit? I didn't you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. <laughs> if you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. Right? I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, oh, savage. That plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? Damn, we're getting a near full today, huh? Henry, you have courage. Oh, you thanks. Need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. So Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. Thank the you, Hannish. The events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. But let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't <laughs> spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. That man looks like he has not made a joke in his entire life. I'm nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, and just like that we became a squire to Sir Radzig. The Rate tourney takes place once a week, you can enroll by talking to the Herald. Yeah, we're not ready to do that. Tourney ain't gonna happen for a while. Train hard, fight easy. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Who I'm sure has zero funny bones. In his entire body. Um, okay, training ground I think is on the exact opposite side. Let's see, let's just double check. Yeah, so it's the one that's beyond the town on the opposite side. What do you want from me now? How does life in Ratai suit you? 
It would be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for alms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. What am I to do with her? The skull is lies in ruins. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? God bless. Okay, so they took the silver mines so that Radzik couldn't use them. Resource for them, resource away from their supposed enemy. Alright, there's a possibility we might get some agility from doing some of this training. You won't believe this. What now? I just want enough agility to be able to use that sword. It's all I really need. Okay, I do want to talk to the huntsman here. God be with you, good sir. Any work going around? Any work for me here by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? <laughs> I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going. But I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. Oh, this quest. I. This one was annoying, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I can handle it. to handle that? He says as he bemoans knowing so what's coming. Problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. So you... Need me to Hang find on, them? Surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds. Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. <sighs> right. A bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. I can't wait. It went something like this. <coughs> what? Who can keep birds like that in their houses? <laughs> it's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. <laughs> you know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Yeah, we, we have to make him repeat it. Can you repeat that? It's too funny. Of course. Remember it now? <clears throat> yes, I'll remember. I want to see them making this man right. do this in the, the recording booth. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. He ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. All right, training. So hunting and houndmaster. Like to show me some hunting tricks. Probably have to Certainly. pay him. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Maybe All another right. time. In the future. God be with you. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to see how much a bow would cost. Farewell. Okay, so a villager's ash bow is the cheapest. Isn't that the one that I can't use right now? No, it's not. Two and one, huh? It is an ash bow, but... No, it was the hazel hunting bow, I think, actually. 
Okay, yeah, we're, we still just don't have money, so... Yeah, we're not ready for the tournament. We're definitely not good enough to do the tournament yet. Is the tournament one of the DLCs that came out? I think it is, right? Happens every week, so... Maybe in a week or two we'll be in a better place for this. But for now, it's a big old no-go. All right, Bernard. Good health to you. Can I ask? Can I ask? What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? It's like me and my friends. Sigismund came, and then you folk. It was a fine, peaceful life here. I was afraid something might have happened to you in the attack. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? Ah, I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. Kind of rude. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. <laughs> You know, fair enough, I guess. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. All right, let's do some basic training. Yes, you know that boy Sir Radzik sent? All right, training is actually a very, very good way for you to get your skills up. Um, spending just a good amount of time doing some training can get you a lot of leeway in this battle system. So I'm just going to mention that because we might do a l this for a while. <laughs> yes, that's me. We don't need Let's to antagonize this guy. That's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh... And because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. I've killed three bandits. I mean, yeah, they were just like unarmored peasants, basically, who were, you know, robbing corpses. But since I've done that recently, I really can't be too judgmental, can I? Yeah, right, let's well. let's start with the basics. Let's come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. We'll work into it. Good luck to you. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Okay, something else that I kind of want to do is in controls. So we've got, let's see. Primary attack, no. Draw melee weapon. I also want this to be, yep, yeah, mouse five. And then range weapon will have be mouse four. Yeah. Okay, I can wheel up and down to change enemies as well. Tab also does that, right? If I just tap tab, I think it switches. Okay. Okay, I think this is actually the same tutorial. Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. Had I known that, I just would have gone to the advanced. Like swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, that's it. <sighs> good. 
Well done. Very good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Hey, that's it. Not bad. Good. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. You got it, buddy. Not bad. Very good. Good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Very good. Wrong. Again. Missed it. No, that's not it. No. Okay, that one's sent. How do you go back Wrong. to center? Again. I don't remember how to go back to center. Um, hold Q to block. Very good. That will parry. When you don't have enough stamina to deflect a foe's strike, you'll be hit while blocking oh your stamina regenerates more slowly. Nice. Oh, okay, so we don't have to, like, move into the direction. The, Very well, then. the wording there Let's was confusing for me, plan. but we just have to hold Come Q. At me and don't gotcha. Hold back. Good strike. Okay, new level in warfare. Okay, so he's doing some like uh, counters and things. These are things that we haven't learned yet even, so. Yeah, he's just a lot better at us, which is why he's able to do a lot of these counters and stuff on us very often. Fine. That's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. <laughs> when in combat, keep an the eye shade. on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay, zone change. <sighs> Nice. No, that's not it. Ah, that's it. Well done. Good. All right. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Ah. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay. Ow. Okay, so when Not you bad. see... So let's see. Perfect block. To fully deflect an adversary's strikes, you need to time your block into it. Press Q as soon as the strike starts to perform a perfect block. That doesn't cost any stamina, gives you a chance to follow up with a quick counter strike. Okay. No! No, not like that! I always felt like this tutorial kind of sucked because it slowed down time and actually made it harder for you to get the timing right. It's not ah, actually it. good for, like, it's not practical, because it's slowed down. <laughs> it's like, I'm supposed to be practicing, but it's fine. You get a chance to do it right later, so it doesn't matter oh. too much. Not bad. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate, 
and block just at the moment I start attacking. You got it, buddy. Strike you from above each time so you can see it well. You went too early. It's still slowed down time. They're Very like, we're going to do it faster now, and then it slows down time. <laughs> Ow. It's like, let me do it in All real time. Right, that's it. That's how I learn. Ow. Nice. <sighs> Not bad. That's it. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Okay, defense is going up like really fast. We like it. This guy. He, he got a little saucy in that meeting. Greetings, Sir Hans. A little pompous. Brings you here. I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I'll do my best, Hans Capon. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. My turn. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Dodging. Move to the side or back at the very moment time. your foe attacks. Nice. Very good. Ah. No! Ah. No! Not like that! Nice. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You can get used to the rhythm if you change started. the timing. Just don't do the slowdown. I don't know. Somebody out there disagrees with me. They, they want the slowdown. I don't know why, but for me it does not help. It's like, just do it at the real time, right. and that's how I'm going to learn how to do it, but it is what it is. Not that nice. big of a deal. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, oh. then change the attack zone and strike. So yeah, I, I had, have time to react. I had trouble with this one, if I remember correctly. So you prepare to strike by holding left then change the zone and release the strike. Okay, so I'm gonna go. What are you waiting for? There we go. Okay, that's not that bad. No. Good. I don't not think bad. it actually changed that time, did it? Not bad. Good. Okay. Cool. Well now, that wasn't too bad. It's coming back to me. Maybe it will make a soldier of you after all. A faint. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. All right. Um, that would be good. We should don't do some more yet. training. So Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. 
we will do that, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So um, just I'm going to remind everybody. So they just showed us a whole bunch of this stuff. Now you still won't be good at fighting yet. Your skills are not good enough. Your stats do have to get better for you to be more successful at fighting more often. Um, your enemies are going to be doing their reposts on you a lot more often while you are this low level um, nothing peasant. So just keep that in mind that just because you felt like you did really good in that, that that means that that's going to transfer into you having skills in the actual fights. Because it, while there is a little bit of... While there is some skill that's required to do like the best that you can in the fighting system, the stats matter as well. So just keep that in mind. You don't automatically get good at this game just because you're good at blocking and whatnot. Um, you're going to find yourself attacking and they're going to repost you and they're going to do a ton of damage to you anyway. And there's not much that you could have done to do. You couldn't have done anything to stop that, right? So just keep that in mind. You still won't be good at the game if you're good at the battle system. You do have to get your stats up. Otherwise, you still will struggle. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado 101, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Kato Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Green, Emily Kuzanova, Philip Dalton, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Danny, Yeah, Naya, Turkeyfoot27, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.